Of course, when you want everything to go right, you can't expect anything. <laughs> Hi, I'm Irene, and uh, sitting in the other chair is Laura Cantrell. Hey there, folks. And uh, we are the hosts of the Music Faucet tonight, and with us, our special guests are Homer Erotic. Take it away. Late 20th century spirituality. We are totally adequate, and everything comes to us in abundance, as long as we open our heart. We are totally adequate, and everything comes to us in abundance. We are deserving. We are totally adequate, and everything comes to us in abundance. We approve of our... Bye. 
about sex It ain't necessarily death Well, what I think about when I think about sex It ain't necessarily death Well, what I think about when I think about love It ain't necessarily what comes up in What I think about when I think about sex It ain't necessarily death It's raining in the city But it storms on the deep blue sea I'm looking for the yellow cab That's bringing you to me Oh well, it's raining in the city But it storms on the deep blue sea Behind these windows I can be Exactly who I want to be What I think about When I think about sex It ain't necessarily death Well, what I think about When I think about sex It ain't necessarily death Well, what I think about When I think about love It ain't necessarily what comes up in What I think about When I think about sex It ain't necessarily death It ain't necessarily so Homoerotic. Welcome to WFMU. Welcome to the live music faucet. Thanks. Yeah, we have quite a group in the next room. There are uh, six people behind the glass there. Andrea on violin, Martha on cello, Suzanne on percussion, and Sarah on percussion, Maggie on guitar, Barb on vocals, and actually Barb and uh, I guess Sarah are the lead vocalists for the group. How long have you guys been doing this? I mean, it seems like, I know you've been around for at least two years, but uh, has it been longer than that? It was actually um, two years in January this month. I wow. Because I saw you, um, oh, I guess, May of, t I forget when, 91 or something. I don't know. Maybe that was a while ago. But <laughs> yeah, that was at the New Yorkian Poets Cafe, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you do a lot of gigs down there? Um, no, we don't really do that many down there, because uh, mostly it's because we require so many microphones and stuff, and sometimes it's kind of hard to get the right sound for a bigger band down there. Yeah. I do gigs there as a poet, but... Yeah, I had heard that, um, I forget who told me in the group, but you started out as a poetry band. We started out calling ourselves a poetry <laughs> band. We've always been sort of this, but... Um, because Maggie uh, Dubree and myself were poets for a long time on the St. Mark scene, and we decided to start a band. And, we w and because the songs are sort of um, structured after poems more than usual song types of structure. Mm -hmm. But that label doesn't seem to work very well because people think of poetry in bongos. <laughs> yeah, see, I, I never know what to think as far as You're a all poetry all beatniks. Band. Well... <laughs> Because, I don't know, I've heard the term thrown around a lot, but, you know, I don't know exactly what it means, you know, whether it means that you have a backing group for a poet or if that's an integral part of uh, what everybody does. So, well, There's a lot of um, bands now that um, a lot of the people in them come from a spoken word place and branch out, and they do um, sort of a musical poetics in all sorts of different ways, from jazz to rock... You know, Maggie Estep's band, I Love Everybody, she's <coughs> an incredible poet, and she does mm -hmm. it to hard rock. And Drunken Boat. Drunken Boat, yeah. John S. Hall. I think it's a good way to... What's that guy's him? name? Oh, Bob Dylan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've always oh, yeah, liked him. Bob, Patty I mean... <laughs> and Patty was cool. We were roommates for a while. I'm lying, I'm lying. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I think it's a good way to give people sort of a frame of reference, mm -hmm. sort of an, a bit of an idea of where we're coming from. <laughs> Or where we think we're coming from. Someone suggested the term lit rock. Mm -hmm. once, lit rock. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lit rock. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm getting tired of all this. The jury's <laughs> out on lit rock, <laughs> folks. Yeah. We'll let you know. <laughs> we'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have in the studio here at WFMU Home Erotic, if you're just tuning in. And uh, I'd like you guys to play another song. 
if uh, for all of us yes. refugees of Super Bowl weekend. Yes, this yes. is our anti Super Bowl This is the anti Super Bowl show. show. I Homer hate erotic. football. That's right. <laughs> you know, I we, love music. I hate football, and I'm doing what I love. Doing. <laughs> may, may I say that we're honored to spearhead the anti Super Bowl yeah. movement <laughs> here at FMU tonight. <laughs> That Super Bowl, I thought that was a salad. <laughs> <laughs> Only in Arkansas, Barb. <laughs> okay, this next song is um, called Zoom Gully. Who are we? We are no one. What do we want? A human head. Who are we? We are everyone. What do we want? A large portable fan. And a nice comfortable house And a big field tent And an eager desire And a settlement of a dispute And a body of soldiers And a felt or cloth hat And a musical dramatic entertainment And an aeroplane So we can go Zoom gale 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 zoom gale gale 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 life takes off like a jet human head who are we we are everyone what do we want what do we want what do we want zoom gale 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 zoom gale gale 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 life takes off like a jet We have to do just a little switching around for this next song. Oh, well, then we'll break in. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, what we have is a, we have a room full of women, and then another room full of women, and they're divided by a glass wall. And one room... Glass ceiling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and one, one room has all the instruments. The other room has all the electricity. <laughs> I know Laura was a bit confused. I just I tried to describe this over the phone because she's never seen you guys play, and you know she had no idea there was going to be so much activity with the the instruments that everyone was playing. I thought it would be like six girls on six microphones, and then like some other unspecified gender musicians in the back. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was what? my pretty conceived well, some notion. Some of those are actually of unspecified. <laughs> And some of us just flip-flop back and forth. <laughs> I myself am a mojo sexual. <laughs> Slow mama. She only does it by the light of the moon. <coughs> this song is called The Real War. It's just the way the light falls and his eyes gliding, half-closed. Glimpses of flesh warm through a window across 6th Street and a man gets out of his car. No one stays still this one night in this one summer. In a red dress beneath a blue moon, I stretch out my arms and sing. And you who dance on lonely street, silver bells upon your feet, listen to me now. I used to believe in a lot of things, spooks and demons, hot steams, evil spells, and angels that fell to earth. 
If I killed a spider, it would rain. And when a bird flew through the window, someone would die. But a child flew through the window into the sun. And one day the past was torn from us, ragged and smelling of oil. I found the sun taking me down a narrow road, my shadow drawn close. The records that you love turned endlessly around. The lights went out. The darkness fell. We drowned. But what we threw away that night, we would reach for in the morning light. You see, we never knew when a door would fly open, a song hanging in the wind, growing faint as it blew through the streets. Your face turning slowly in a desert in my mind. Your heart rolled over as we lay on the couch the last days of fall. It seemed like everywhere I turned, planes swooped and children danced. Men sang songs to the moon in the silvery light, singing, where is the Garden of Eden? Where did that old garden go? Lying with you beneath a whiffle tree many long years ago, many long years ago, many long years ago, beneath a whiffle tree by an old gray mare many long years ago. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Where I was living, we didn't do much We talked about the war Some nights we drank and we went out driving Most nights we just passed out on the floor If I tried to leave, where would I go? Ride a nightmare down Down those roads that run in circles Out of this stupid town what do you want when you don't want the money? You don't want the things they're selling tonight. Your house is on fire. It burns as you run and you run till you drop in the yellowing light. I watch the sun move across the yard. I watch the sun go down. A rough cafe where the lamps are burning A better place where fires don't go out If you want to leave, just run away By the light of the silver moon Pack your dreams in some old suitcase Tie up your hair and move And she bent and stirred the soup In rough cafes where brown water ran Red streets across the plain when you shiver and cross yourself in the arms of a dream And you follow an echo across the still across canyon the still canyon, and you canyon. The covers and dive into the sun The sentry is frozen, his rifle cuts the air there. And I come awake to the sound the of sound. your voice A, a rabbit, rabbit freezes in the milky light of the moon Saddle up your horse and go. Up and go What do you live what for, Uncle Joe? You, you are a vagrant or you are my savior You will never, never go. go This is the venom of summer dry, summer dry. And it will all ignite but, but don't mind the weather when the wind don't blow Oh, come on, way down come yonder on, we'll way go. Way down yonder we'll go. Toss your shoes behind the railroad tracks, red train, blue moon, rolling in the grass. tuned to WFMU with Irene hosting tonight on the Music Faucet along with Laura. Nick is out. Uh, well, we told him not to come. He said sorry. We took away the keys. Said, Nick, you need some rest. <laughs> yeah, we said it's girls' night out. That's right. <laughs> That's right. 
You know, you guys on the ride out, you were saying that, um, you know, I heard you mention that you like classical music, and it seems like you come from a variety of backgrounds. What backgrounds do you come from as far as playing? Um, well, S Suzanne and I have been um, very interested in African music and percussion for years now, I guess. We met when we started to dance, studying African West African dance. So you can't see them, but a, a lot of our instruments are from West Africa, and the drums that we play are called djembes. They're from West Africa. So mm -hmm. we that's our sort of thing that we, our passion, I guess. I don't know if I'm mm -hmm. speaking too much for you, but... Yeah. No, new, the new, new passion. <laughs> the new passion. New passion. <laughs> and how about our uh, string section over here? Um, well, I, I started out as a classical musician. <laughs> started out as a child. <laughs> um, I was but she grew. <laughs> and then I went to Berklee College of Music, where I was actually a piano principal at the time, and then I kind of switched back into cello and graduated with a degree in performance playing weird cello music. <laughs> and um, I studied classically as a child and stopped for a while, picked it back up again, still study classically, and that's the old passion. I have to say, I know she's not listening right now, but I have a really, I just have this wonderful, wonderful woman in my life who's my violin teacher and from whom I get a lot of encouragement. And then actually, I guess I got started again a couple of years back with some rock bands. <laughs> And um, was doing sort of weird, noisy things with rock bands and then sort of just evolved on into Homer. And um, I guess I have to say that there is no place like Homer. No. <laughs> Anybody from the yeah. other side of the room want to volunteer? <laughs> yeah, I, I basically started as a poet and a writer and kind of got into bands through that scene. Um, I was in a band called Kill All Your Darlings and uh, Fleur de Mal, Lulu Review. But mostly what I'm interested in is the language and the songwriting and the words, and that's how Barb and I met. Mm -hmm. yeah. I started off as a classical child. I was <laughs> not practicing my piano lessons. <laughs> and uh, um, I guess in the early 80s, I was in a band called Avant Squares. I, it was a time when a lot of poets, I was, I'm a poet too, um, were doing music, and uh, so I just started playing drums. And... Um, so I was in this band, I went squares, and it played around for a while, and and then sort of stopped. And then one day, Maggie just said, "Let's do music." So, so here you all I are. I said, "Why not? I'm not working." <laughs> <laughs> well, you have some more for us. Yeah. No, that's all we have. Yeah, we're stuck. Quick. We want to know how you started, Irene. <laughs> Come on in here and grab the fiddle. <laughs> Da 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 da
There's a hunger in the world and I can't name it. Hunger in the city, we can't name it. Hunger in my soul, name it. Sell me what I want. Cause you told me what I need. I need to know, I need to know. So I can. I guess I'd like to say that when we started out, Maggie and myself were writing all the songs, but now it's really branching out. And uh, um, like Sarah just has, that's her song. And Suzanne's written a song, and a lot of us are starting to write songs. And I really like it because <coughs> it's sort of like there's all sorts of different uh, ways of coming at music and all sorts of different songs that we get to do. Spirit of Christmas past. <laughs> hey, you know, I should probably ask you if you have any upcoming gigs that you want to plug. Um, <laughs> in a word, no. 
I know you just played a whole bunch. <laughs> Unfortunately, we couldn't pre-announce them, I guess, uh, for this show. But um, do you have well, any coming up that you know of? Um, actually, I'm I'm leaving the band for a month. Oh no! <laughs> getting a flute player. <laughs> <laughs> or there's this woman that plays kazoo. I met the other weekend. She's, she's very good. Yeah. <laughs> actually, things things are looking good for March. We're going to have some things coming up, but uh, I don't think we can really say yet because they're not firm. But mm -hmm. we just played at the Wetlands for a benefit for WAC, the Women's Action Coalition, which was a lot of fun and yeah, great. great crowd. So yeah. Um, <laughs> well, we're we're supposed to be, um, you know, we might be playing at SOBs, we might be playing at the Knitting Factory, and these are all things that are sort of in the works. Right. We have a couple of might away. be gigs, actually. But Barbara is going to France. Oh, should I say that on the radio? No, don't. <laughs> okay, anyway, she's not going to France for the month of February, so we're not going to be gigging in that period of time. Uh -huh. at, least. at least that's what they're telling me. <laughs> um, I'd also like to announce that um, we have such a thing as the Homer Helpline, uh -huh. that you can call up this phone number and leave your name and address and get on our mailing list. Also, you can call this phone number to find out when our next gigs are. Ah, and we don't forget your zip code. Your radio. <laughs> oh, yes. And what might that number be? That number might be, <laughs> it's my belief that that number is 212-229-2077. Mm -hmm. And remember to speak clearly. And if you have a strange name or street, to mm -hmm. spell it. Your zip like code. 14th, <laughs> F-O-U-R-T-E-N. -E <laughs> and your zip code, clearly. Also, people can call right in here to the WFMU studios, and uh, I'll happily write the numbers down if you would like to do that. And our number here in the studio is in the 201 area code 678-7743. We have Homer Erotic in the studio entertaining us tonight. This next song, oops. <laughs> so, this next song is dedicated to um, Pat Robertson and Pat Buchanan, the two Pats, and the Christian Coalition. It's um, Randall Terry and all those guys. <laughs> it, it's called Backward. Christian soldiers and the Fertile Crescent crew. I guess you all remember where the Fertile Crescent is in the Bible. That's where all that um, Judeo-Christianity, Islamic stuff really got started. <coughs> so, <coughs> backward Christian soldiers and the Fertile Crescent crew. Mm. Christian soldiers marching as to war with the cross of Jesus going on before Christ our loyal master leads against the foe forward into that Christian soldiers smashing records burning books Christian soldiers seething with satanic looks they're trying to make the world safe for Armageddon don't let them don't let them don't let them don't let them Christian soldiers trying to pump you up with sin Christian soldiers don't pay tax on dividends they're trying to make the world safe for Armageddon don't let them don't let them don't let them don't let them Christian soldiers hooked into an ancient head. Christian soldiers, now they're crawling in your bed. They're trying to make the world safe for Armageddon. Don't let them, don't let them, don't let them, don't let them. They want to murder the 20th century. The thing is, and I want to tell you all a little story. The thing is, and I want to tell you all a little story. The thing is, and I want to tell you all a little story. A little story to illustrate how sitting cross-legged on the floor as my teacher, Mrs. Jihad, my teacher, Mrs. Jihad, walked back and forth in the dark outfit she always wore to cover her sinful body. Because the first thing I learned was that in the one true religion, which is my religion, which is a um, Muslim, or er, Christian, no, Jewish, woman, which is what I am, was born into sin because of what I am. Born into sin because of what I am. So cover up, buttercup, cover up, buttercup, cover up, buttercup. 
buttercup, wow. I thought I was looking at the end of the world, sitting on my little rug in kindergarten, memorizing the commandments, trying to keep it all straight. Always, never, never, always, no, always, never, always, always, never, no, always, 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 Century, love it or leave it, man. The, the whole, whole damn, damn earth is sacred land. Celestially beautiful, we always, already are. This life on this planet in these bodies is something to celebrate. Make lunch.
Homer Erotic performing in the WFMU <coughs> studios tonight. I did want to take a, a moment to mention something that's coming up next week, not to take away from this show tonight, but next week uh, is the fifth anniversary of the Music Faucet, and we've got quite a show, don't we, Laura? <laughs> we do indeed. Up? You know, I just want to say Nick has done such a great job of conceiving of this show, but we have the Memorial broadcast to Neil Cassidy. Is that yes. what it is? It's the Neil Cassidy Memorial <laughs> broadcast. You there got go. it almost right. I inverted but it. That's but that's right. Yeah, um, what that's going to entail is we're, we're going to have a slew of poets um, and uh, musicians and all sorts of great people. Uh, some people you've mentioned, you mentioned Maggie Estep. I think she's going to be performing. <laughs> I hear that Ellen Ginsberg's going to be there. Ken Babs uh, is being flown out from California. Right. John S. Hall is performing. Uh, oh, I wish I could. Tuli Kupferberg. Uh, Tuli Kupferberg. Peter Orlovsky. Mm -hmm. uh, Jennifer Blowdryer. Mm -hmm. A bunch of people. Like, too many people for me to remember That's at right, this moment. That's right, for us to recite. But this but is all happening next Sunday, starting at 6 p.m., Four hours worth of uh, poetry and madness, all uh, live from Fez, which is under the Time Cafe on Lafayette Street, about a block away from Tower Records. You're invited to come on down to the um, the club and see it there, or you can just tune in. We'll have you enjoy it one way or another. It promises to be quite a show. One way or another, you will enjoy yes. this Including broadcast. Including the, the wonderful sound of subway trains rumbling <laughs> under your feet. That's right. But that is the fifth anniversary of the live music faucet, and it's the poetry spoken word yeah. show. Has Nick ever done one of these poetry shows before so. in such grand scale as four hours of... Mm, not that I know of. I know he's done other mad extravaganzas for which, you know, I want to strangle him at the end of the night. No, that's not true. No, he, he likes to have tons and tons of people on stage <coughs> performing uh, live. And, you know, that's been the whole passion of this show, the music faucet over the years. It's just presenting several people. So... We have a big celebration coming up next week. Yeah. Okay. So you've got Homer Erotic is performing in the studios right now, and they have only five more left. <laughs> <laughs> only five more? Well, I think we can deal with that. It's about quarter seven right now in WFMU from Uppsala College. And... Uh, I don't know. We'll waste some time, or if you feel I, like you want to stop at some point, and you know that'll be it. I just wanted to say, Irene, that um, it's fun to actually come and see us visually to see us because we do um, some dancing in our because shows, and beautiful. there's some drum. <laughs> while we're drumming, we do some choreography. So you, uh, the listeners, can't see that right now. But I just well, thought I would tell you to imagine. <laughs> right. I don't think we and should necessarily <laughs> assume that it's fun, though. <laughs> For the sake of the One audience, I'd like to say that we have been dancing here this evening. Yes, yes, we, we have been witnessing this through the, the other side of the glass, and they're, they're waving their percussion instruments and uh, having a generally great time. Shaking it. That's right. <laughs> okay. So I guess we'll continue with um, Mount Fuji. But I oh, do think it's on, safe to say that it's fun. Surely it I think we want to flip a tape right now, sure. don't okay. we? Sure. We're going to do some tape flipping. Uh
<laughs> we just want to get every last bit on time. <laughs> this is Thank humor you. erotic. I guess, oh. I guess I'll take this opportunity to um, say that during the Super Bowl, WAC, the Women's Action Coalition, WAC New York and WAC LA have done a joint action in which they've hired two airplanes to fly over the Super Bowl. I don't know if people out there know it, but for some reason, Super Bowl day is the day when the most violence against women, the most domestic violence occurs. And oddly enough, the most domestic violence seems to occur in the state that wins, the winning state. Really? Mm. And, but so WAC, uh, LA and WAC New York have hired two airplanes to fly over the Super Bowl with banners that read Stop Violence Against Women and WAC is watching. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we tried to get them to put a trailer on it to say that we were playing on FMU. <laughs> They weren't up for it. Well, I think we're a little out of their broadcast. <laughs> you know, I, I might want to ask you, too, I'm not terribly familiar with Women's Action Coalition. Maybe you want to explain what, what they generally do, I mean, besides this with the Super Bowl. Well, um, it's a huge group of women. The meetings are usually three to 500 strong. Um, and they do different actions it's in coalition with other groups as well, like we had a you know, they do marches again, at, uh, like the Glen Ridge rape trial that might be right. particularly That's significant right here in New here. Jersey. Yeah, and, and they sit in on the courtroom, in the courtroom. Um, Is it a watchdog organization? It's, yes, it's a watchdog or organization. It was also modeled somewhat on ACT UP to do direct action and, you know, call attention to certain things and um, drum up energy, so to speak. They have their own drum corps that usually come to the demonstrations. Oh, really? Yeah, they're really great, and the, um, the drum corps, um, the slogan uh, <laughs> used to be, it's got a backbeat, you can't lose it, but now I think they're thinking of changing it to precision is a bourgeois concept. I want to get killed. <laughs> um, <clears throat> no, but they're really, it's a gr they're a great drum corps, and um, so they just sort of... Uh, you know, women sort of uh, coming into the public space with drums and voices, and it really got started after the Anita Hill trial mm -hmm. and the uh, William Kennedy Smith trial, and a lot of frustration that was uh, about things that were happening that year. And it's mushroomed across the country. There's a lot of whack chapters now. Yeah. It's about a year Just old. Just generally giving women women a, a voice to speak and yeah, I mean the idea is letting you, them know we're there. Right, it's very yeah. sort of egalitarian. You go to a meeting. If you have a proposal for an action or a demonstration, mm -hmm. you bring it before the floor. People vote on it. There's a thousand committees for everything from wheat pasting mm -hmm. to graphics. Mm -hmm. uh, WAC had a huge presence at the Republican convention. They did a huge demonstration against that with a lot of downtown artists doing graphics. Mm -hmm. Um, for these slideshows that were projected on the sides of buildings. And they did a thing called Operation Desert Storm, in which they drove around an ice cream truck and handed out ice cream, <laughs> like the snow job cone and the slush oh. fun slush. <laughs> so, they do, so they're up for anything. You know, some actions are more serious than others, mm -hmm. but I suggest that uh, any woman who's interested, come on down. I, unfortunately, I don't know exactly where the meetings are. They're on 11th Street. <laughs> oh, okay. I just sort of get there. I just don't, I don't know the address. They're somewhere on 11th Street. They're in the Street. West Village. Okay. <laughs> About 11th Street and 6th Avenue. Tuesday nights at 7. are open, but I cannot see only shadows. My eyes are open, but I cannot see Mount Fuji in front of me. I'm inside out. Can't you see? Sensory, just sensory. No more ABC, no more USA. No 
Agora no céu. Look around you, don't you see we're all connected, you and me? But it's not quite like you thought it would be Cause now it's fiery, wiry, sensory, just sensory, just sensory, just sensory give out that phone number again for the the Homer helpline. <laughs> yeah. Help. 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 Yes, yeah, so the number if you want to get on Homer Erotics mailing list is 212-229-2077. Leave any uh, important information, phone numbers, uh, addresses, zip codes, <laughs> the words. In a clear voice. Yes. <laughs> Have someone else speak it for you if you can. <laughs> also coming up uh, immediately after this show is David Newgarden. He says he's going to take over early, so we don't have to worry about uh, playing nasty records or CDs in between. Will not compromise our liveness this <laughs> evening. <laughs> David, thank you for coming to the to the rescue of live radio. Well, I think sort of. I think it's partly because he doesn't. <laughs> we're taking away his show next week, so <laughs> we we'll have to a little retuning here. Tuning song. And we'll just say once again that that next week is the Neil Cassidy Memorial Broadcast at, and uh, of the live music faucet. It will be broadcast from Fez, which is under the Time Cafe. Right. On yeah, Lafayette you kind of have Street. to snake around uh, down through all these these little bar rooms and down underground, just a a breath away from the subway. I was there last night, and quite and we'll, quite a noisy place. <laughs> pretty noisy. Yeah. It'll add to the charm. That's right. Four hours of live music faucet next week. For the Neil Cassidy Memorial and oh, broadcast. Oh, I just thought of another uh, another group that's going to be on is um, Huge Voodoo, who we had as guests here on the faucet a couple of months ago. And they'll be providing some of the musical background for the poets. Chicks. <laughs> Yeah. 
it that chicks just keep getting harder to find? Well, um, I don't know. I think it's so I think it's like it's a semantic thing. You know, obviously, it's, you know, well, it's like you know. Remember when like jazz guys used to call themselves cats and they'd call like girls chicks and you know like what what cats do to chicks and that's frightening. That's horrid. Is that what they were talking about when they started that stuff? You guys were on the no radio. way. One, no two, way. three, four. No. no one in there at night would want to be a chick. Every time you say the word, I get a little sick. I don't want to trap you. I don't want to trick. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Chicks go out for coffee, cigarettes and gum. Chicks don't let the burger king and yum. To act. No one in the right mind would want to be a chick Every time you say the word I get a little sick I don't want to trap you, I don't want to trick Shut up, shut up, shut up Individual is ideological construction Individual is ideological construction Individual is ideological construction Individual is ideological construction Chicks are like a jacket Chicks are like a car The way your chick is looking is the man you think you are Chicks are here, chick, chick, there Chick that's on the phone I'm going to start a rumor I hope it catches on No one in the right mind would want to be a chick Every time you say the word I get a little sick I don't want to trap you I don't want to trick Shut up, shut up, shut up There are no people on the situations And not too many of those no people, only situations, and not too many of those. There are no people, only situations, and not too many of those. There are no people, only situations, and not too many of those. You know them all, I hope. I just wanted to say that we're listening to WFMU, Uppsala College, East Orange, broadcasting at 91.1 on the dial with Homer Erotic in the studio. And this is Irene and Laura filling in for Nick tonight on the music faucet. Um. <clears throat> By the way, do you have any recordings that people can get? <laughs> we're working on it. We're, we're sort of, we have like a demo tape really, but um, we're in the process of um, <coughs> trying to get either a two song or a four song CD out. Wow. It's just gonna take a little while since I'm going away for a month. Mm. And so um, a lot of times people ask us about the history of our name and um, because it was originally conceived of as a poet's band, we, wanted, we thought of using the name Homer, uh, the Greek poet, and mm -hmm. Presley, the <laughs> Memphis poet, <laughs> for a poet's band, Homer Presley. Oh, and yeah. then uh, Jesse Helms started up with all his censorship stuff, and um, <coughs> so we decided Homer Erotic was, uh, had just the right sound to it. Mm -hmm. and. That's where we got it. I guess kind of the woman's touch in a way. <laughs> Actually, it was written on um, the wall of a bathroom in Graceland. <laughs> <laughs> That's another <what I'm> story. <laughs> well, here's another one not like the other ones. <laughs> Six months she added. 
Where I didn't know the night from the day But that was before Now winter in the city isn't what it was Like it was before Now winter in the city isn't what it was Like it was before Now what I remember is that it rains And I also forget and can never predict it I walk out into the street without coverage There is no winter, spring, summer, fall It only rains Cold rain or hot rain Cold or hot Now winter in the city isn't what it was Like it was before she told me now winter in the city isn't what it was Like it was before I had one winter in the city before The cold gleam, the wind I came south from the north and bought a city coat A pretty city coat piled over another city overcoat He asked her just what if you hadn't But that was before I told you, she said It started to Jets fly over paradise, the winter comes and goes. New York and Rose, New York and Rose, go wait and Rose, New York and Rose, go wait and Rose, New York and Rose, go wait and Rose, New York and Rose, the night is racing west, the night is gone. West, the, the night, night is gone. Who ain't in ruins as Bosnia burns as Baghdad burns? New York and ruins. Who ain't in ruins as Bosnia burns as Baghdad burns? New York and ruins. Ah, turn your back on paradise if paradise is gold. Turn your back on paradise if paradise is gold. Jets fly over paradise, the winter comes and goes. When 
workers want more money, it's called socialism. When bosses want more money, it's called capitalism. When I want more money, it's called individuality. When you want more money, it's called taking something that belongs to me. More money, more, more money, more, more money, more, more. Yes, can I have some more? More money, please. Texas Hey, what's the best nation for the homeless? Donations. Texas Jets fly over paradise, the winter comes and goes. Homer Erotic, performing live on WFMU. Is that uh, your last one or is there? No, we have one, one more. One more short one. And Irene, I'd, I'd like to thank you very much for having us here tonight. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah, thank I mean, you. you made such an impression on me when I saw you. I mean, I've really only seen you once, and I've hoped to see you mm -hmm. again, but now I have my own private show here. <laughs> <laughs> and we're glad to oblige. Thanks. <coughs> 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 Uh, I guess I'd like to introduce the band before our last song. Please do. On violin is Andrea Pierotti. On cello is Martha Colby. Jimbe and percussion is Suzanne <coughs> Gallant. Lead vocals in Jimbe is Sarah Wint. Guitar is Maggie Debris. And I'm Barbara Barg. And... Um, I'm one of the lead vocals, too. And although we say Sarah and I are the lead vocals, really a lot of, as you can probably tell, a lot, we all <laughs> sing a lot. We're starting to have more a cappella. <laughs> you can't. We do require six vocal mics. <laughs> it's a joint effort. <laughs> one, two, three. Um, late Sorry. 20th century sexuality. This is a companion piece to our opening song, Late 20th Century Spirituality. So we feel that this sort of sums up the whole set. <laughs> One, two, three, and go into the chapel and I'm gonna get married. Go into the chapel and I'm gonna get married. Gee, I really love you and I'm gonna get married. Go into the chapel of love. Tick, 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 tick,
Homer Erotic <laughs> performing live on WFMU. Once again, the Homer Helpline, if you want to go and see them at some point and get on their mailing list, this is the best way to do it. The phone number is 212-229-2077. And uh, also, one last reminder about the, the Big Live Shoe next Sunday, live from Fez, the Neil Cassidy Memorial Broadcast. The fifth anniversary of the live music faucet, celebrating five years, obviously, yes. of live music on WFMU. That's an odd way of celebrating it, too, <laughs> celebrating live music with spoken word. Well, on to bigger and better things, definitely. We're evolving. <laughs> I guess definitely. so. Definitely. Homer erotica. Listen to me, erotica. Homer erotica. <laughs> erotic. People, people oh, probably do want to add that them. little. <laughs> Sorry. But Homer Erotic, thank you for coming and playing for us yes. tonight. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank you so much. And uh, I guess we should make our goodbyes. And uh, this is Irene and Laura on the music faucet, filling in for Nick. And uh, coming up very shortly, if not immediately, David Newgarden will be taking over in the studio.